This juicy peri peri chicken is filled with flavors that won't disappoint. Unlike how you expected your employer to actually care about you. Always wash your chicken. Unless you want to join the cornstarch colored colonizers. The chicken skins, just like your brain when it comes to dating men, will not play a major role. Ensure the chicken is evenly salted. Unlike your face which is unevenly covered with makeup because it's always patchy. As they dry brine in the fridge, combine an onion and half a red bell pepper that are cut into chunks larger than the emotional baggage your parents left you with. Four cloves of garlic go in. Because I didn't want the chicken to be as spicy as your mental health, I added some scotch bonnets which had the seeds and some without. Some yellow bell pepper pepper and ginger joins the party. Some lemon juice and sugar balance each other out. In a similar way to how capitalism is forcing you to balance having a mental breakdown and being a corporate slave, a splash of vinegar gives it an extra kick of acidity. The spices listed above ensure the flavors are strong, stronger than the damage this new university funding model will do to education in Kenya. Blend it up while streaming in some oil to ensure it comes out smooth. Throw in a bunch of coriander that is smaller than the malnourished ponytail you bunch up on your head. Once you've cooked it down until it's thicker than you, you'll pat the chicken Chicken dry and use the sauce we made to marinate the chicken. Toss them around to get things covered. Just as how you toss and turn in bed thinking about childhood arguments with your father and how you'd clap back now. Let them marinate for at least one hour or preferably overnight. Bake them at 200 degrees for 30 minutes. It should pick up colors that are dark. Darker than that one dark skin ex of yours who almost made you get alcohol poisoning from the heartbreak.